Well, for the third time in the last three years, a former Highlight Zone standout playing in the Super Bowl. Carol Grant Drew Tranquil, a linebacker for the Chiefs, is now a Super Bowl champion. He actually had two tackles in the game, both in overtime. Originally from the South, Drew was born in Alabama with a family later moving to Tennessee and then finally to Fort Wayne when Drew was in about sixth grade. As his parents will tell you, Drew's journey, however, is more about just addresses and area codes. I mean, I can't say there was ever a time I knew he would play in a Super Bowl. But when people ask me if I'm proud of Drew, I just say I've, I've always been proud of him, like always. The first of Shannon and Tony Tranquil's five children, it didn't take very long to find out that their Drew was different. Drew was competitive since he was probably first born. <laughs> he was um, a very challenging child, keeping up with him, never, never knowing how to turn the switch off. Everything was always full throttle at everything that he did? For sure. <laughs> <laughs> at the age of 10, Drew made a poster he stuck on his wall outlining his life goals. It's a poster that made its way with him to Notre Dame and now hangs in his house as a pro athlete. He wrote the poster and it said, God, if you will give me the platform to succeed, in sports. At that time, honestly, he was young and he was more into baseball mm -hmm. than he was football. So I think the poster was more, just give me a platform and I will do my best and I will give you all the glory. Drew putting faith first and football second, even if not everyone had faith in him. I think he was always a little bit of an underdog going into the collegiate level, um, you know, maybe not big enough. I think he, I think he took that as a challenge. I mean, I remember walking out of Notre Dame and them telling him, "Hey, you're you're most likely going to be a developmental player for us." And he came back and turned the dining room into a study hall, and he learned the defense. And he came back and hit the gym and did the things that he needed to do, and showed up there quite surprising to the staff there. A two-time captain at Notre Dame. Drew's in his fifth year as a pro and is married to his high school sweetheart, Jackie, with three kids, Elijah, Grace, and Mackenzie. He got home, I'll, I'll share this story, he got home from the Baltimore game, we went out to keep the grandkids. And the next morning he's beat up with his legs and bruises and just beat to a pulp getting in at midnight that night. And at seven o'clock in the morning he's sitting on the floor reading books in front of the fire, cooked his kids breakfast, having a tea party with his two-year-old daughter. So. Uh, definitely know where his priorities lie. An engineering major at Notre Dame, Drew won the Warfel Trophy as a senior in South Bend as college football's most impactful leader for his community service. He's also the NFL's reigning chess champion. Yeah, Drew won an online chess tournament between NFL players last offseason, earning $25,000 for charity. I'm Glenn Marini, and that is your local sports report.